Hey, how's it going, guys? Ryan Gass here at PTPGun.com Firearm Stream. And today, I'm going to show you a new holster I just got in that I have zero experience with uh, both the type and the brand. This is a holster made by Mask, and it's a shoulder holster for a Glock 43X. So, on the back, it's got some information that they want us to read before using their Mask holster products. So, let's go ahead and read what it is and, and see if there's anything that stands out. Because uh, I, I know myself, I am new to shoulder holsters, uh, and leather holsters as a whole, I have very, very little experience with. So let's see if they have anything that we can learn. Uh, Mask, M-A-S-C, that's the name of the brand. Mask holsters are handmade from top grain, genuine cow hide leather, and made with beautiful stitching and first clad, uh, first, first class craftsmanship. Also, quick little note, they didn't send this to me. I don't know these people from Tom Decker Harry. I bought it on Amazon for like 160 bucks. I forget. I'll check. I'll, I'll, I'll put a screenshot here for y'all. Uh, but I have no skin in the game. Um, you know, this is not, this, this whole thing is not worked out. It's a, it's a uh, 100 percent chance that I'm going to send it back. So, uh, this is going to be an honest review. Um, see, Mass Holsters, uh, Mass Holster has high concealment, sight rail, space to protect the leather and muzzle sight. I believe they meant the front sight. Uh, the construction is deemed to fit the natural curve of the hip, keeping all molding up front. Holster may appear to fit tight at first and when holstering your gun, this is for long usage of your holster considering the fact that the holster will relax with use. Yes, holsters, uh, leather holsters particularly, they need to be broken in so it might be tight in the beginning. Understood. If the fit is not as described, please return it to the dealer or sell it for a refund. If the holster has tension screws, tension screws may not be adjusted on holsters and accessories. You may, to, you may need to readjust them. Mass holsters handmade leather products are to be preferred by the VIP persons, their bodyguards, civil polices, because of its safe usage and high concealment. Before trying the holster, the firearm should be completely unloaded, including the magazine, chamber, and cylinder. You must be certain that your gun is securely seated in the holster each time you holster your gun before removing your hand from the grip. Guns must safe, uh, snugly fit in holsters to guard against accidental loss of the handgun. Keep your finger off the trigger until you're ready to shoot. If you've ever been to any of our firearm training classes, you know that. Keep your fingers off the trigger and out of the trigger guard when drawing or replacing the handgun in the holster. Also something we go over hands-on with you at our classes on day two. Let's see, gun security carrying a handgun is a serious responsibility that requires constant awareness. It is your responsibility to exercise extreme caution during any situation where another individual may attempt to take your gun away. Retention devices must be used when provided. Various, vi sorry, during vigorous physical activity, including running, you should not reply, rely on your holster's retention capabilities. The gun should be held in place with your hand to prevent the gun from falling out of the holster. So after a quick read of the back of this uh, bag that it comes in, uh, at least part of it does, uh, they didn't instill a whole lot of confidence in me and in this product. Uh, that, and honestly, the way I'm reading it, it sounds like it was written by someone that's not from America, uh, not a big gun person, and at least with the American culture, and uh, so that's why it's written out the way it is. Kind of weird, like. So let's go ahead and unpackage this and see what we got in here and see what the instructions say. Hopefully, it came with instructions. So this is what holds the double magazines. This is what holds the fire itself. Let's see what it says here. Thank you for your business. So let's go ahead and read some of the instructions they put in here. Uh, if the holster is too tight when holstering your gun for the first time, do not force the gun into the holster. Follow these few steps. One. Place the unloaded gun into two to three layers of kitchen wrap. Two, insert the wrapped gun into the holster and gently twist it side to side. 
Three, once it's completely fitted in the holster, twist it about 10 times. Four, allow the wrapped gun to sit in the holster for about 20 minutes. Five, remove the gun from the holster and also remove the wrap from the gun. So just so you all know, it came with two bags that has different elements in it. This is a lot of the shoulder ray itself, and this, I believe, is uh, what actually holds the gun in the magazines. Um, this has some of the hardware in it, too. And on here, it says that it uh, fits up to a 48-inch chest, which I'm not going to lie. I don't know what size chest I have. Uh, and honestly, I didn't see a size opportunity, I get the opportunity to choose different sizes when I bought this via Amazon. So hopefully I got the right stuff. All right, so it comes with a nice little sticker for, to advertise for them and uh, assembly instructions for the holster system. Let's go ahead and read this. So I'm going to go ahead and then include some pictures of the steps as we follow along. Uh, they have pictures, but not really a lot of uh, text that goes with it. So let me go ahead and try to visually show you what this is showing us on here. Mm. you got to love the smell of this nice leather, though. I'm not going to lie. Alright, so we got the back leather strap. They want us to have it like this. Alright. All right, and just so you know, they have two different directions on here. One for a horizontal mount and also another for a vertical mount. We're going to go with the horizontal mount, and we may change from there. It's one of those live and learn type things. So it looks like they gave us for hardware. They gave us hardware, and then they actually gave us some extra pieces, which I know that I personally appreciate because I lose stuff all the time. All right, so first we're going to take one of these sleeves. These are little retaining sleeves. We're going to put that up over the leather strap. Then we're going to insert the leather strap in. All right, <clears throat> we're going to do some adjustment to figure out how we want it set. We're going to go ahead and just uh, set it up uh, and we'll go from there when it comes to adjustments. Now, once we get that all set up, we're going to go ahead and put this retaining screw system in, right, so it holds its place. <laughs> mm. All right, so we have the one side attached. Let's go ahead and get the other side attached. Right, let's go ahead and install the magazine carrier pretty much the same way. So now I'm getting to the point where I got to attach this to my belt. Uh, so I need to get my other holster off and wear it all day and get out of the way.
So I got some adjusting to do. I'm not sure exactly how I like it yet, but I will say uh, something I do like about it is uh, you may have never seen it before. I got to maybe make a video on that too, but. Uh, at times, I do wear suspenders um, under my clothing to be able to help keep the weight that's on my uh, belt line for my gun, my uh, magazines, and things of that nature. Uh, those little bit of pounds, they add up. Um, but I use it to keep that weight up off of my just my belt and help my shoulders uh, kind of support that weight. I will say I got some adjusting to do, but I will say that this is kind of a twofer. This you know, acts as a holster, but also kind of acts as suspenders too, and I... I kind of like it. That's the old man in me coming out. Uh, so let's make some adjustments and see how this goes. Alright, so before we go any farther, I just want to kind of have you all see. And I'm not handling this gun and just testing this holster out with a loaded gun. It is unloaded. Alright. I'm just going to take that. Put that in there. Hmm. Let's try out the uh, magazine retention. Let's see. So we got that. Nice and firm in there. Hmm. Now, I will say something I do like about this is that you can use smaller or longer magazines. All right. Uh, this can be used for the 43 or the 43X. Now, how I have it, obviously, I'm using is a 43X. So the magazines are a little bit longer. So I got to use that second buckle. Not that it's sewn into the leather, but if I had a 43, I could use those magazines in here as well, and it would still retain it very well. So I'm kind of happy about that. Huh. Now this one, it's using the first snap, not the second one. That's weird. Maybe I didn't put that one in all the way. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. So it does use the first snap. Okay. Hmm. Now, uh, for a little bit of transparency, a couple things. First off, this holster is actually not for me. It's for my father-in-law. He's getting a concealed carry lately, and he wanted to try one out. Uh, so I said, all right, I got you. Um, but I will say myself, personally, I do have zero experience with these. This is the first time I've ever put one on. Um, I kind of like it. Now, um, I do think that I probably will buy myself one personally uh, here probably soon, actually. It's kind of putting a little fire in my butt. Um, but um, I will say that me personally, I don't ever foresee myself wearing this holster as you see it. I'm not going to, uh, while I do open carry, I'm not going to open carry this holster. Uh, honestly, one of the biggest reasons why is because I think I look like a douchebag. Uh, I feel like this is something that... Somebody tries to do to try to look like a detective from the 1940s with a pinup suit and stuff, uh, and that's just not me. So, uh, if and when I do uh, buy one of these myself and I use it for my own personal use, uh, it'll be for like this time of year, fall, winter, when you have a nice jacket over top of it, or maybe even a uh, 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 with the right fit, so you got a nice button up blouse like this too, with open face front. Uh, that's going to be probably uh, one of the things, uh, which I, again, I'll, I'll tell you my ignorance, again, uh, I believe that, you know, I imagine it's going to be most uh, most conducive to be able to use this holster, obviously in a concealed carry environment, but it has to be with a jacket or a shirt with the open front. Otherwise, I imagine it would be very difficult to be able to get to. So, Other things, too, to bring up. I don't think I've ever had anyone uh, use one of these holsters or use a shoulder rig holster uh, in any of my class in the past. Um, I will have to figure out the whole draw and how to do it safely and effectively, especially if you're on fire lines with multiple people on your side. Because obviously, one, for a couple of things. One, you don't want to pull a fire mount and go like that because two things. When I did that... What did I just do? I just flagged myself. I just pointed my gun at something I did not intend to shoot. 
myself uh, specifically. Now like that, if we're on a firing line, all right, and you're drawing your firearm to be able to use in a live fire environment, all right, if I got somebody on the firing line to my left, all right, guess what? I just flagged them too. So I'm going to have to, I got a lot to learn. I'll be, I'll be quite honest. Uh, while this is a fire train channel and, and I go over different things, uh, don't think that I am the person that knows everything. Um, if you find somebody on the internet or on YouTube that knows everything, uh, I wouldn't listen to them because they probably don't know as much as they think. Um, I'm humble enough to realize what I don't know. And one of those things is shorter rig holsters. So this will be a big learning curve for me. And that's part of the reason why I want to do this uh, is to open my mind up to other things that I haven't yet tried before. But also to be able to provide a more educated opinion when anyone asks me about these. People have asked me about shoulder rigs and what my thoughts are. Um, and I told them quite honestly, I don't, I'm not in a position to give you that opinion because I don't have any experience. I would just be giving you uh, stupid gibberish that I've either repeated for, uh, that I've learned from somebody else and or shit that I really don't know because I have no basis for knowing that. Uh, so that's going to be part of my thing uh, when it comes to uh, buying my own, which this is not my own. Uh, and use that over the next coming months and maybe even years. So if you guys like this, let us know. Uh, if you have one your own and you have tips or tricks for shoulder rigs, I'll put this in the comments below. Uh, and then also let us know uh, if you use this, how to use this. Uh, is this your primary uh, holster situation? Is this only for certain environments? Uh, how do you, if you do, how do you use a shoulder rig holster? Also, do you like a vertical setup or, as I have here, a horizontal setup? How do you set yours up and why? So my initial thoughts, my initial uh, impression of this holster is it definitely, I'm not a huge leather guy, I'm not going to lie, I don't have a lot of experience with it, but uh, the little bit of experience I do have with it uh, over the years, I feel like this is pretty decently made, pretty solidly made, uh, got a little of that leather, that fresh leather smell too. Um, I I got to get, gotta get some adjustments on it and stuff, again this is not my whole shirt, it's actually my father-in-law's, uh, so I'm going to be working with him this weekend to get it uh, fine-tuned and adjusted to him. That and we're going to be having to, to uh, learn and practice uh, the draw, how to safely and effectively draw, because it's not just pull the gun out and shoot. All right, there's a lot more involved in it, making sure that you don't accidentally shoot yourself or accidentally shoot somebody else, um, to make sure that you get it out effectively and you don't tr uh, drop the gun. Uh, make sure you get it out in an expeditious manner, but again, while maintaining safety and proficiency. Uh, so we got to get that going. Um, but I like it. Uh, I generally like I generally like it. Uh, it's got um, I got a lot to learn still, but um, yeah, I think I'm gonna probably actually buy myself one too. Um, I will say this is not gonna change my lifestyle. I'm not gonna do uh, shorter rigs 24/7. I would probably say not even probably 10 to 20 percent, maybe 10 percent. We'll see. Uh, but that's, that's that's what life's all about, is, is trying new things and learning, uh, all within reason. So, um, I appreciate you all tuning in with this. I'm going to give you guys periodic updates on how, uh, anything we learn about this, uh, as well as, you know. So, I will be giving periodic uh, updates on the holster here on the YouTube. Right? I'll be giving... Um, um, updates to the condition of the holster, how the snaps are working still, if it's falling apart, if it's doing great, uh, tips, tricks that I'm figuring out along the way. And with that being said, if you have any tips, if you have any tricks, if you shoulder rig your firearm, uh, what information do you have that we can share with the world? Put it down in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button because as we post up-to-date information on this holster as well as others, that will be here on YouTube, and you'll get alerts if you are a subscriber. So not only hit that subscribe button, not only comment below, but also hit the notifications bell. Appreciate you guys. Stay safe, and as always, train to defend, but also train to prevail.